Hey everybody. Hey, uh, this is a quick update video. Um, I did scenery around the uh, high river pass and such. As you see here, I uh, did scenery around here. Around this hill right here. Sorry if the camera's ain't shaky. I'm trying my best to hold it right. But, uh, got this, uh, also, uh, forgot to mention. This bridge right here, got it built, painted, as you've seen in my other videos. Um, I think it looks pretty good, especially when uh, scenery's around it. Excuse me. Um, it's coming along. Did scenery all the way down through here, as you see. Um, got the portals painted for the uh, tunnel. Got this uh, hill, such all scenic up. Just used uh, the ground foam and uh, some tan latex paint. There's a couple areas around the around it I need to touch up, like uh, right there. Need to paint that, but it's coming along. I uh, filled in the holes right there, as you see, and right there. So that looks pretty good now. Still got to uh, put some plastic cloth right here where the tape is. Um, I just ain't had time to do it. I got the stuff. I just ain't had time to do it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good. Um, right here, I'll show you real quick. Right here, you need to uh, paint over that and uh, patch that. Right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Um, I got a patch at. Um, it's not too bad. So I just got to put some paint over it and. Uh, some ground foam but yeah um forget what else i was going to say um oh yeah um i bought a new tripod and it's got a uh, swivel head and such on it so i am going to be able to do uh, a lot of run box which i think are going to look nice um actually this look move right here this uh conrail 8098 uh notebook center heritage unit I uh, am going to be putting a video out on um, run by, you know, like uh, rail fanning it and stuff for probably my next video. Um, so that's going to be good. Um, let's go over which look moves I have real quick. Um, so I got 8100. These are all Bachman, except uh, these two Norfolk Southern uh, SD70s. Um, these are all DCC, except the Senior Pacific. Which, actually, the Senior Pacific right here is my uh, first locomotive. It's DC. I'm planning on uh, putting a decoder in it, possibly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put sound in it, but I think it'll look good. I might uh, paint over like the Union Pacific and uh, make it look like a uh, leased unit, I guess is the right terminology for that. Sorry if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to learn it, but... Uh, these all have sound except number 6633. Um, I'm going to be posting more videos on these locomotives. Um, I got two of these uh, Conrails. That's why there's one here and one there. They're both the same thing. I just have two of them. Um, <clears throat> 8100 Nickel Plate Road, uh, Netflix Southern Heritage Unit. Um, DCC and sound. Conrail 8098. The Fook Southern Heritage Unit, DCC and Sound. Uh, actually, it also has ditch lights. Both of these uh, Conrails do. Um, I think it looks really good when they have ditch lights. But uh, I have uh, No Fook Southern Heritage Unit uh, number 1070 Wabash. Um, I've had these locomotives here for quite a while now. And. Uh, They've been real good. They've run good and stuff. Also, I have one other locomotive upstairs I got to uh, do some maintenance on. Um, but I need to get um, oil and grease for it. I've been looking. And I've been trying to figure out where I can get some. Well, I know where I can get some. It's just not in stock. So, um, yeah. Um, 6564, which you've you've seen in uh, action right here. 6564 in the middle of the screen there. Um, you've seen it do switching on uh, the gravel company spur right down there. 
Um, as you know, it has sound. It's also DCC. I use a uh, easy command. And I'm hoping to uh, get an NC power cap, but that's going to be a while because I'm going to try to, uh, you know, use my money wisely and such to uh, work on the layout scenery first. Probably do the layout first, then figure out a uh, get a new system. So I think it'll uh, be nice. Also have a uh, Bachman DCC um, high rail. It runs pretty good. It's just DCC. Uh, that ain't got sound, obviously. It's, I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, see DCC on board. I ain't really had many problems with these locomotives. They've always been really good to me. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Kind of tired now. I've been uh, I filmed for this uh, next video with this Conrail in it, using my uh, new tripod. So. This is my old tripod right here, and the troubles I've had with it is on top here. Um, I don't know. Okay, there you go. Um, I had to put glue. I used wood glue around that because it stripped out real bad, and I've had this for a long time, so it was cheap, you know. But it worked well. Actually, I used it for uh, a first couple of videos, and I fixed after I fixed it, so it worked well. My uh, new tripod that's upstairs um, has the same top on it, but it, this right here has got more uh, plastic around it, so I think it'll do better. I just didn't tighten it real tight, you know, but it works real well. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I still got to do uh, more cars, and you put get couplers on more cars. I got a lot. I got a good bit of cars. I'm just trying to uh, get couplers switched around on them. And some of these I need to. Uh, some of these already have. Uh, couplers on them. I'm switching over to KD number fives for all my cars and stuff because I want to be able to run uh, long trains, you know, and uh, also them to be uh, strong, you know. So uh, some of these I got to uh, reposition the couplers on. So some of these actually have the couplers already on them, like this uh, car right here. I already have it. But uh, yeah, so I think it's about it. So. Thanks for watching. Um, I know this is kind of a short video. Well, actually, it's almost nine minutes, so I'm um, filming this. So, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.